Okay, I don't care what other people think. You were on the call. You give me an example. So why should I care about mean-spirited thumbnails? It's not nice. Maybe it'll make people feel bad. I wish I had a, a few more examples. I'm not in the habit of calling black people the N-word. Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. I got Hello. very angry at you at one point in yeah, that conversation. Yeah, 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 you did. I've calmed down now. Oh. But I'm just interested to hear what you've got to say in a non-confrontational way in regards to what your perception is of my like relationship with DK. Because you said at one point, I think, I was cowardly for like letting DK do something on the YouTube channel. So talk to me. What's going on? Yeah, I guess uh, the way I see it is uh, either either you wouldn't or you don't support or you, you feel a little bit bad about the thumbnails that he makes. Okay. Or you don't. I'll tell you and what, before you... we get into anything, can you give me an example of a thumbnail that you're not happy with? Uh, well, it's not about me not being happy with them because... I Hang on. Well, da, 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 da. You that. said I was cowardly for letting DK do something with the thumbnail. So can you give me an example of something I was cowardly for, for not, you know, stopping going out? Can you give that to me? <laughs> um, okay, I'm looking at a, at a thumbnail right now that says uh, Shameless Clout Shark. Shameless and, and Clout Shark? Like, yeah. Okay, what's your problem with that? Why should I have stopped that from going out? A little mean spirited, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's mean spirited. So, so what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't really care about the thumbnails. Chud, Chud Logic. Logic's edit editor is like fourth thought. He's just like a, a bastard. Yeah, he's really mean. Um, uh, Chud Logic himself calling uh, Lav a, a whore and a bitch uh, multiple times. In his yeah, streams. He, has, he has to double down because of his editor, unfortunately. No, no, no. I stand by every single word I've said about Lav. I was kind of talking about it from Max's... Um, uh, no, 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 no. Don't fucking brain. weasel out of it. You said in the conversation you thought I was cowardly because I let DK go out with certain thumbnails. I think that Chud Logic was cowardly in how or maybe, yeah. maybe maybe he just doesn't really care about <laughs> putting out videos with thumbnails and titles like that but i think that he was pretty cowardly in how he allowed dk to put out videos and thumbnails like that and the but best said, example you've got for me is a thumbnail that says shameless clout shark which i would argue is a pretty accurate representation of lav even if mean-spirited but go on if you actually rewind the tape I said that he's either cowardly or he actually just doesn't care. It's one of the two. That's what I said. Mm, okay. I'm pretty sure that at one point you said that you thought personally I was cowardly, but maybe I've got it a bit mixed up. That could be true. But I just feel like you've got a lot of opinions on this or perspectives about whether I'm cowardly or don't care even, and you can't even present to me a thumbnail that you've got a substantive issue with besides saying this one is mean-spirited. Because I don't care. I'm saying either you're cowardly or okay. you don't care. About Why should I care? What is it I'm supposed to care about that's so bad? Give me an example. Uh... Well, I mean, obviously, there are some people who think that your your thumbnails are kind of mean. And okay, I don't care what other people think. Care. You were on the call. You give me an example. You want to get on a call with me, but what I said was either you don't care or well, should, okay. I'm asking you, saying I don't care about it. I'm asking you, what is it that you've seen that you think I don't care about that I should care about, and you've got nothing. You've got nothing. <laughs> the the, the mean spirited thumbnails. Okay. So why should I care about mean-spirited thumbnails? It's not nice. Maybe it'll make people feel bad. Uh, for those so reasons, what? I guess. I don't fucking care. Why should I care about yeah, making people I, feel bad? Evidently, that's what I'm saying. It's one of the two. 
But why? Okay, explain to me, right? Why should I care about making people th feel bad with thumbnails? They can just not watch me, not subscribe to my channel. You can select not interested in this if it pops up in your feed and you'll never see my thumbnails. So why should I care if someone can't manage their own YouTube account correctly? Why should I give a shit about that? Uh, can I, can I draw a hypothetical or no, can I draw an, an analogy? Sure. Uh, why should you care if, uh, you send death threats to somebody because they could just like deactivate okay. their Twitter account or not read the DMS. I mean, first of all, I'm pretty sure that's a TOS issue, right? Well, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about TOS. I'm talking about whether or not you but think no, it's no, no, wrong. But my, okay. But my point, well, for, first of all, I'm not sure if this is really an apt analogy because we're talking about sending someone a death threat. Now there's going to be context there because if it's just like, I'm going to kill you. I don't know if I would consider that to be an actual death threat, right? That's just the kind of general shit you would get online. But if someone were to send someone a message that was like, so I wouldn't consider that to be a, you know, a meaningful death threat. But if someone were to send something saying, I know where you live, here's your address, I'm going to track you down and I'm going to kill you. That is something that is actionable. Not only is it a TOS thing, that also is against the law. And generally speaking, the reason it's against the law is because, I mean, there's probably a, an emotional or like a, a more reasonable emotional impact it might have on someone. It's like an actionable threat. Someone might go through with it. You know, there's m many reasons why an actual substantial death threat is going to be wrong that goes beyond just, oh, it hurts someone's feelings. OK, so let, let's take the let's take the non credible death threat. Like you just say, I'm going to kill someone or I'm going to kill you uh, to somebody. Do you think that that's wrong? Um, I'm go. Someone says I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Send the DM. Um, I mean, it's not something I would do myself. It's not something that I would say people should do. Um, and it's not something I would support. You know, and I, I mean, I think just in terms of TOS, it probably isn't a good idea to do. But no, I don't think it's a good idea to send someone. I'm going to kill you. No. Okay. But so let me just ask. That... But let me just ask. What has that okay. got to do? with a thumbnail that isn't someone's DMs. I'm not going to someone in their DMs and saying something. This is something that's on a public platform, which you can limit to see if you don't want to. And it says, check Clout Shark. How, how are, are you, these two similar or comparable in any way? Like Because you can you can limit seeing somebody sending you a DM saying that I'm going to kill you. You can, you can block that person. You can deactivate your Twitter account. You can just not read the DM. But it's just mean. It's not good. Okay. But the thing is, you, you would agree that sending someone saying something, I'm going to kill you, is going to potentially, even though I think it's a bit silly to be too concerned about it, that is going to put someone at an elevated stress level over and above just a random person seeing a thumbnail that says clout shark. Uh, yeah, probably if, if it's one isolated incident for both. But I don't know. There are, there are a lot of thumbnails that... Yeah, like emotional distress, someone says in chat, right? So there is like a level of emotional distress that I think you know, sure, like saying you're going to kill someone is probably going to elevate someone's emotional stress to like a, a point where it's reasonable to say, well, it's like an unnecessary action. You're not benefiting or gaining anything from it. So it's unnecessary to do that. So like, why, why do that? There's no reason then to do that. Right. But like with the thumbnail thing, it's a provocative thumbnail that's designed to catch eyes. Is it going to upset some people? Yes. YouTube have got a terms of service to try and moderate to make sure it's not a complete free for all. And people are posting like, say, funnily enough, death threats on the thumbnail. So if I'm meeting YouTube's terms of service, even if it upsets people, I'm meeting the standard of the platform that they've set out for me. So again, I just don't see any reason why I should care that some people might be upset by it. I, uh, if, if your argument is you should just be nicer in your thumbnails, I mean, that's fine if that's your position. But I don't see how it's that I'm cowardly or don't care to not do anything about that if I'm not meeting your kind of more stringent standard of don't upset people with your thumbnails ever, essentially. I feel like those are the only two possibilities. It's either that you're fine, i.e. I, you don't care about the thumbnails or you do care about the thumbnails and you're too cowardly to say anything about it. It's one of the two. That's what I said. Okay. I care about thumbnails in as much as they meet YouTube terms of service. Like there's been times when DK has sent me a thumbnail 
Um, you know, like there was one recently and it was like, here's the two. One, I think, was a bit more, I had a swear word on or something, I had something on there that I was a bit like, I don't know if that's going to be TOS, so just be careful, use the other one that blurs it out, right? But my mm -hmm. mindset is terms of service, meeting terms of service, right? That's the okay. primary reason that I would use a certain thumbnail. The only other time I might change a thumbnail is if someone takes issue, like for example, President Sunday once said, this isn't an exact quote of what I said, because we'd paraphrase two things together. And so we changed it to an exact quote of what he said. He was still annoyed, but it was a quote of what was said in the video. So if you say something in a video that ends up on the thumbnail, I don't think you can really complain about that. But nonetheless, you know, just give me some examples there. Of, there's been times we've negotiated and changed certain thumbnails. Um, but, you know, that is to meet TOS. Like if I try to adhere to this nebulous standard of don't upset people with your thumbnails, like sometimes a provocative thumbnail is going to upset people. That's kind of beyond my control. I can do what I can to meet the TOS. But that's not really, you know, I'm, it's not like I'm sending them to someone's inbox. It's not like I'm getting into their space and going, oh, look, fucking look at this thumbnail. You've got to look at this. It's, you know, I'm meeting the TOS. To me, that seems fine. The standards seem to work. So I don't really see any reason to care beyond that. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, anyway, I think um, I'm kind of hyper-focusing on this because it's our main point of disagreement or issue. But other than that, I don't know. I think you did a pretty uh, pretty good job of contesting some of the the points made. I don't know. Well, how do you think it went? What, like this conversation right now? No, we missed a girl. Oh, um... Yeah, I wish uh I wish I had a, a few more examples of Lav, you know, being Lav to uh mm. argue with him about, but I could I didn't really think of any beforehand. I I, I seems I to be a recurring for problem for you, doesn't it? Well, what does that mean? As in not come into the conversation with specific examples of things you're bothered about. Are you talking about me? Yeah. You said that you wanted to talk to me about what I said, but you didn't even hear what I said correctly. That's not me. That's you. Yeah, but you were criticizing the fact you were being critical of my approach to thumbnails, but you don't have any solid examples of things I should have taken issue with that I didn't. I feel like I wasn't point. really being that critical. I was just like, either he doesn't care or he's a coward. Okay. When you call, when you suggest that someone doesn't care or they're a coward, is that praising someone? Like, what, what do you consider that to be? I don't have to praise you. I just, it's, it's one of the two things. I don't, I don't well, know. You, I didn't... You are, well, I just think you're being a bit weasel. You're offering a crit. It's fine if you want to offer a criticism. I don't care if you criticize me, but I'm just highlighting that you didn't really have any solid examples to present to me. It was just, you know, I think these are a bit mean, but that's fine. We don't need to go back into it. I don't think that but you I'm should saying, change the thumbnails. Listen, I don't really care. I'm giving you a criticism now, okay? You need to come okay. better prepared to conversations. For example, in Mr. Girl's conversations, you're right. You didn't have any examples, you know, to point well, to. About, wait, right? Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know. Wait, you just said that. I. There were two parts of the conversation. There was okay, one part on. where I was talking about how um, he might be a domestic abuser. And then there was another part where I was talking about laugh. The laugh part was the second half, and that had to do with you. But the first part, I was—I think I was pretty, pretty, pretty well prepared for. Okay, fair enough. I didn't see that part. To be fair, I was very narcissistic and just focused on the bit about me. So, yeah, maybe you should change that about yourself. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, sure. No, I mean, look, I think that we agree in principle on like Max definitely does this thing. You put it perfectly, where Lav's in shit and he puts his hand out and he gets covered in shit too. Um, what did you think of his kind of response to that concept in general? Um, I don't know. I guess I guess his his broad point for the whole erudite don't talk to Chud Logic thing anymore was that um, he thinks that the person that works for you did something that's like beyond the pale, and since you won't disavow that person, she should disavow you. Which I mean, in principle, I, I guess works, but I don't know. I feel like. Um, I feel like what DK did wasn't bad enough for him to be that upset by it. But I mean, like I said in the video, I think that DK is a bastard. So, um, 
I agree that, you know, he's like a weird guy and he's like an asshole, but I don't think it's it was worth grabbing a shit covered hand for. It only makes Mr. Girl look worse, but he's also not very concerned about that since he's the cuties guy, so okay. it's to be expected. Right. Now this oh, listen, I will take the L on one thing, and this is something I always make the mistake of, is not taking notes, okay? But there is a transcript here, and I do have to challenge what you've said in regards to your own words. Because at okay. 1.17.10, you say, I think Chud Logic was pretty cowardly in how maybe he doesn't care about putting out videos that were thumbnails. But I think it was pretty, pretty cowardly in how he allowed DK to put out videos and thumbnails like that. And then when he got a negative response from both you and Lav, he doubled down. So you yeah, were yeah, calling yeah. me cowardly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if, if you read the transcript... Did somebody post it in chat? Yes. Okay. I think Chud Logic was pretty cowardly in how, and then I stopped because I realized that there's an there's another alternative, which is maybe he just doesn't care about putting out videos with okay. that. Would, yeah. And then I continued with my original point. So in my mind, I was thinking, oh, he probably thinks these thumbnails are wrong. Um, and he just didn't want to like rock the boat with his editor. Um, but there's also the possibility that he actually just doesn't care about the thumbnails. It was one of the two, and I thought that but I being a think coward was it more was likely. pretty cowardly. You're saying this is what you think? Yeah, yeah, I think it was more likely, but I also recognize that it was the other possibility. Mm. Okay. Listen, I don't want to spend all day, uh, you know, going over this transcript, but I think that the full text of what you said makes it pretty clear that you were given a more explicit criticism of me. I mean, that's why I got so mad because you know the idea that I'm cowardly for following YouTube's terms of service and the thumbnails I put out is kind of crazy to me. Um, and the fact that now you come to this conversation having said that, particularly with the transcript, you've not got a single example, except for, and I'm going to show it on stream, this is the thumbnail. Endless gaslighting, shameless clout shark. Bearing in mind, in the course of the video, the direct quote is, why are you such a despicable, shameless clout shark on Destiny's stream? I mean... This is a direct quote from the video on the thumbnail. Um, this was the example you gave. Obviously not well thought through. Can I, can I, I give you another example, maybe? Sure, go on. Um, how about stupid lying um, star, 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 star? Oh, yeah, I've got that one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you this. Now, look, maybe the five star stands for, um, I, I don't even know, woman? Stupid lying woman. But I feel like he could have just put that in the thumbnail if it was woman. Maybe. I don't know. What, what word do you think that those five stars represent? Who knows? I mean, Maybe I'm, a pretty word sure, with B. I'm pretty sure in the video, I called her a stupid lying bitch or stupid lying whore. Oh, um, you interesting. Know. Yeah. So I would happily accept. I mean, if I was to look at this, that would be my interpretation. Having said mm -hmm. the words I said during that video, remember it fairly well. Uh-huh. But I think that if someone who doesn't know the situation is looking at this, the point of putting stupid lying blank is to act as a provocative thing of, oh, what, what's that? Oh, wonder what they say. And if you're looking at this and interpreting it and you're reading a word in it, you are putting your own interpretation on the thumbnail. <laughs> um, and okay, that, listen, so... I'm not going to avoid the fact that I, I called Lava Whore, but... Well, on what basis would I have to complain about this being the thumbnail if I myself have said the words in the course of the video? I didn't watch the video, so I wouldn't know. I'm just talking about the thumbnails. But can I ask you a question? So if DK makes a video, he puts a picture of my face. People, you, you can find a picture of my face somewhere. And he puts that in the thumbnail, and there's a red arrow, and, and there are words that say, dumb as a dot, 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 and the red arrow is pointing to a monkey. You'd sign off on that one? I'm black. So I was bringing up, sorry. So if there was a racial stereotype of you on a thumbnail. Well, I mean, because you were saying, oh, you know, people are drawing their own conclusions. So, you know, that's not really my fault. So I'm saying, okay, red arrow from my face to a monkey, dumb as a dot, dot, dot. You mm. sign off on that one? That's close to the line. That's close to the line, isn't it? Um. I mean, well, let's do the equivalent. Let's do the equivalent. Okay. If it was, you know, dumb six-letter word, all mm -hmm. the six letters blanked out, 
Yeah. Listen, I don't want to make it weird, right? But we both know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Would I allow that? And I think to be consistent, I'd have to say, well, I'd have to say yes, because it is a provocative thing. I think we've even played with that where someone get, gets called a Nazi and we say N-word on the thumbnail, mm. right? Um, but then if it isn't a quote of something that's happened in the video, that might be something I wouldn't want on there anyway, because it's not an accurate representation of what happens in the video, because I'm not in the habit of calling black people the N-word. Maybe I would call a black person a six-letter word that isn't in any way racial, and I might be happy with it being framed on the thumbnail for the sake of being provocative. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, for that to work, it would have to be that I would call a black person the N-word in the video, and that would be then represented in the thumbnail as the N-word. I mean, you know, if I call someone an N-word in a video, I can't really complain if that gets represented in the thumbnail. But then I've committed a far more egregious act myself, which is calling a black person the N-word, right? Does that make sense how I'm coming with that? Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the point I'm making is DK is just representing what I'm doing, right? Oh, okay. So if 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 that's on the thumbnail, that's indicative of the fact that I have said it. And looking at these screenshots here... What a lying, what a piece of lying she seems Sick to be one of the times. freak. And then she did outplay me by being a dishonest demon lying woman. Now, this is Where actually is more favorable towards me. I'm pretty sure I did call her worse, but I don't know if there's like, just to be explicit with you, DK sending me these. So, you know, obviously he is um, motivated in one way, a certain bias, just to make that clear. By all means, people are welcome to go and look at the transcript and see for themselves and see if there's any other examples of me saying lying five-letter word. Um, but yeah, and, and you know, I don't want to seem like I'm not trying to own the fact. You know, I've got to be honest with you. What the fuck? I've got to be honest with you. Um, you know, I've said some mean things about laugh. I don't deny that, right? Put that on me. But DK putting that into a thumbnail that's provocative. I said it. So DK's representing what I said. Like, that's me. To just say, oh, I don't like the fact that... Sure. But there's this idea that DK is engaging in harassment and it's cowardly to, like, not stop him from doing that when I've said the words. The cowardly thing would be for me to say the words and say to DK, oh, DK, um, don't make me look bad on the thumbnail because, you know, don't, don't put that on the thumbnail because, do you know what I mean? No... Maybe you could argue like it's framed as a way to look at that or something being said, sure. But that's part of the thumbnail game is creating a provocative image that's going to get people to click on the video. Um, but if you're interpreting the thumbnail as DK is calling Lav a, a, a lying whore, I mean, there's a lot of interpretation you're reading into it to come to that conclusion. Okay. That's fine. So, okay, I'll, I'll rescind my statement that you're a coward and just say... Well, okay. yeah. I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking for you to rescind anything. I mean, you know, I just well, wanted I, to... That's, that's my decision. That's what I want to do. Okay. Because well, I don't think enough. you're a coward. I don't really care that you... Okay. I just was interested because people have got this perception of mine and DK's relationship. And I just think that it's wrong a lot of the time. So I've got that What's out the there. the perception that you think that people have? Um, well, this is where the Rasputin meme comes from. There's this perception that DK is putting this pressure on to do certain things or like go in a certain direction. Um, you know, I mean, admittedly he did message me last night and say, I don't want to tell you run any channel, but we need some fucking fire content for the YouTube channel. You should watch the Mr. Girl stream or the president Sunday debate. But that is the first time in probably months that he's even suggested content. And it's a very soft suggestion. It's, Hey, you might look, might to look at this. This might be good content, <clears throat> but generally speaking is I make the content I want to make. He turns it into a YouTube video. Um, and he maximizes the YouTube end of things to the best of his ability, best of his knowledge to maximize viewership and maximize profit and revenue. Oh, okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't know what your perception is, but you know, based on what you said, maybe you've got a different perception. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't have that much of a perception on you and your, your content. Okay. I've only really recently started watching you. Um, I have a one more question. It's about the uh, the Discord terms of service thing. What sure. do you consider an implied threat? 
Um, like, could you give me an example of one? An implied threat. Okay, I'm struggling with this. And it's because I've got, I think I might have like some outside or something. Whenever someone asks me for like a specific example of something, maybe you suffer from this too, I don't know. But I kind of struggle to come <laughs> to the <my> mind. <laughs> I, can't, sorry. I kind of struggle to come up with something like in the moment. Like if you said to me, what's your favorite top three movies? I'd be like, what the fuck? But, you know, I could probably write them down t- 10 minutes later. Um, you know. I don't know what implied threat would be because my guess would be a threat is something you you're saying you're going to do. Oh yeah, like lock your back door tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you better sleep with both eyes open. You know. Oh. Okay. Um. So, something like that, I think, would be an implied threat where you're suggesting that danger is going to come to someone in an implicit way. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, what's the reason for asking? What's your thought process? I don't know because when you said um, that DK didn't violate any of the Discord terms of service, and then you brought up the uh, one of the terms and was talking about um, mm. threats of violence, I, I saw implied threat, and I was like, I feel like that's a little close to what DK said, but sure. I guess and um, just to be clear, you know, that's my interpretation. Um, yeah. Another thing as well, though. To me, a threat is something that's something that we direct it as someone. So, for example, the death threat thing. Like, if I if I just said, if I went to my wall and shouted, "I'm going to kill you," nothing happens. But if I went up into the street and said to someone, "I'm going to kill you," then obviously that's a different interpretation because the context is you're saying it to that person. So, I just think that to me, a threat is something that you make like directly to someone. Um generally speaking so to me a threat would be if you're interacting with someone in discord and you say you know i'm gonna come for you lock your door tonight something like that that i think would probably be an implicit threat but that's just my interpretation okay all right i feel you there is um listen i don't know how much time you got but there is one more thing as well sure i think um (laughs) In fact, you met you. Mm, you may have even put a Reddit post up about this, if I remember correctly. Okay, you're living in my brain rent free, it seems. But it was over the Destiny DDoS stuff, and I think that you had some criticisms or disagreements in my chat about my takes on it. Um, yes, yes, I did. And uh, you know, I'm very receptive to criticism of of my perspective because I'll admit, like a lot of it was happening in real time. I was learning about it, so. I can absolutely see where there's a criticism of like a changing perspective there. But what what's your thought process, if you can remember? What was your disagreement on, there? On the DDoS thing? Mm, yeah. Uh, I think my disagreement was that likely, based, based on the story that Destiny told, he likely mm. um, committed criminal attempt okay. to murder. And... Uh, mm. I think, I think you got mad because I said something a little cheeky, and probably. Uh, I probably banned you, didn't I? Yeah, you banned me, and then you you unbanned me like ten seconds later. Uh, okay, because you like I I said that this proves that it was criminal attempt, and you said this doesn't prove anything, and then you started like insulting me, and then I said, you know what, you're right, it doesn't prove it because it didn't <laughs> prove it, but you know, it was like. I think you you could you could easily read into that, and I was like, "You're right; it doesn't prove it." Uh, real quick question: Do you think that Andrew Tate is a sex trafficker? So it was, you know, it was a little cheeky, and uh, you got really okay. upset and you banned me. <laughs> it's honestly funny when you talk because obviously we're in a pretty reasonable conversation, but obviously when you're in chat, you're just like a little you're just basically digits, letters on a screen. It's very easy to berate someone, you know. But yeah, talking to fair. people generally, it's a bit more a bit more chill. Mm. Um. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess that the difference, I would say, is that, well, f- first of all, obviously, this is my view. You disagree with this, perhaps. I'm imagining or guessing that Destiny probably overstated or embellished aspects of what happened to make it sound a bit juicier than it truly was. Because, you know, when he said he was mapping out the streets, 
what does that even mean? Mapping out a street, like you know where someone is and you're like, right, that's where I need to go. You know, put it into your sat nav and off you go. It was like 10 years ago, with sat navs were a thing. So it just seems like that is a statement to make it sound like, oh yeah, I was doing something to move towards it. That is quite meaningless to me when you think about it. Um, but uh, with Andrew Tate, I guess it's that there's, I can't remember exactly what it was. There seems to be a more substantial body of evidence that points towards him doing the things that he's claimed to have done. But with that being said, I would still wait for the court case, but I'd probably be more comfortable to, to casually say that Andrew Tate is a sex trafficker now than I was like back in April last year when he got interviewed. Okay. Well, for the destiny thing, I think it's a combination of him um, saying that he was mapping out the streets he was going to get a bunch of people together. And he specifically said that he got his gun license because of that incident. I think the combination of all of those things put together makes it so that, you know, if if at the time I feel like some sort of law enforcement agency looked into him or looked into his like um, computer files or something, uh, heard him say that he got a gun license specifically for this incident. I feel like you could make the case for criminal attempt. Okay. But what, okay. What expertise or knowledge are you drawing on to come to that conclusion? Because often, sorry, I'll just leave it at that. What, what, I'm a lawyer. What do, okay, fair enough. I just want to. No, I'm not. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> okay, right. Um, I thought you were going to fucking was, giga chat me then, but. No, it was a, I don't know. It was a website. It was a website that somebody linked in chat. And so I was just looking at, like some of the definitions for the terms that they were using. Um, and so that's what I was using to, to create okay. that rationale. So I guess the issue that I have with that is it's okay to colloquially discuss and say, oh, I think this could have been a crime or something like that. But the issue I've got is that, like if you were to say to me, I think that was probably a crime on a one-to-one, -one, I'd be like, yeah, sure. But it's the way that it's, that was probably a crime and then it's used as a moral condemnation when we don't even have strong evidence or any sort of police, you know, ch paper chain or anything to point to it being substantively considered a crime. That that's the issue that I have It's the, it's the extrapolations you make off the back of it to strongly morally condemn because yeah, but I just, I just feel like, cause my brother, he's like a, a red pill kind of guy. So when I say, you know, Andrew Tate is a sex trafficker mm -hmm. every time he'll just go, Oh, he's just being sarcastic. Oh, it's just satire. You, you just don't understand satire. It just feels like, um, I'm not saying that Destiny should go to jail, but if I take what he said at face value, and I have no reason not to, based on the laws that I read online, feels like, yeah, that was, uh, at the very least, that was pretty crazy. Um, and it couldn't rise to the level of, ha of him having committed a crime. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean... I've just got a different perspective on things. Back in April 2022, or whatever it was, um, Andrew Tate was arrested. I was critical at the time of people that were factually like calling him a sex trafficker, even though now it's transpired that it probably is. At the time, I just felt like there wasn't nearly enough information to come to that firm conclusion. So even with the Andrew Tate example, at a time when there wasn't as much available evidence, you know, even though there was lots of people that have turned out to kind of accidentally be correct, um, at the time, there just wasn't adequate information to, for me to come to that conclusion. But I changed when I had more information. So I guess with the Destiny thing is like, you know, him just saying that on stream um, is not enough for me to, to come to any firm conclusions because i'm not a lawyer i can't interpret the law but if someone brought charges against destiny and there was like a police report and you know who's been investigated for this at that point you know i might be more willing to innocent to proven guilty but there's more you know ground for me to say or i'd maybe take more someone else saying he did this thing you know mm. um so I, I guess for me it's like i just would look for more information or evidence or at least things you can point to to say well look this makes it more credible that makes it more credible i think just someone saying something on their stream in and of itself isn't adequate with andrew tate we're not just looking at stuff that he said on stream there's other evidence that has been made somewhat available publicly which we can look at to come to conclusions
that's yeah. perspective. Yeah, that's um, but that's a fair perspective to take. Um, but I just want to reiterate that you know I'm not saying like Destiny is a criminal or that he should go to jail. I think I think even Mr. Girl and I I disagree with Mr. Girl about this kind of stuff a lot. Or I think he's just way too hyperbolic. He goes way too far. He said that um he should like get his his gun license removed or taken away from him. I I wouldn't say that either. I was I was just like, yeah, that's a pretty crazy story. <laughs> and, but like that's it. Like that's a pretty but like, and you know I'm a Mr. Girl fan obviously, but I also consider myself a Destiny fan. But I, yeah. I do actually believe that DGG is kind of cult like. The, the cult-like response where it's like, no, it's perfectly normal. Everything that he said makes total sense. You wouldn't start mapping out streets and get a gun license. Like, no, I, I, I probably wouldn't. It's, it's, at the very least, I feel like we can agree. That's a little crazy. Okay. I mean, I'm about to ingratiate myself in the cult further. Okay. No, what I, would, what I would say is that, um, you know, I agree that there's some people within Destiny's community uh, that are very fucking obsessive and annoying. But then, you know, this is a problem with any community. Mr. Girl has exactly the same problem. I mean, for God's sake, there was someone that went onto a stream to try and argue that Mr. Girl was autistic so that he could validate his autism and his connection to Mr. Girl. Like, there are freaks in every community, right? Um, I also agree that there is sometimes a dynamic where, you know, there's a narrative or something and everyone just immediately buys into it. I think, though, that there is a point to be made that, the idea that what Destiny did was like totally insane and out of the question when he tried formal law enforcement routes to try and get it dealt with. To me, it sounds like a guy that was at the end of his fucking tether. He tried everything he could think of and had a total schizoid moment that is at least understandable. If not, you might want to condemn it and say it's wrong. I think it was a stupid, wrong thing to do, but it's at least understandable as to why someone might have that moment of madness, which to me is seemingly what it was. A moment of madness, I'm going to fucking kill this guy, Jesus, that didn't actually transpire and he found another means to deal with it. Um, I mean, did you understand why someone might feel like that way about it, at least? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I think... Um, I think... So, like, Destiny maintains, like, no, it was perfectly reasonable. There's, there's nothing... No. And, and anybody... I, I don't. I, I don't know if he says it okay. was perfectly reasonable. I think he just. He, I think he his position, if I understand it correctly, is that you know, it was a, like a moment of madness. Yeah, he does like, actually say that. You're right. You're right. right? I, I it, like I shouldn't have done it, but here's why I did do it. Like That's not true. to say it. W it would have been right for me to go and kill him, but this explains why I was in that mindset at the time. Like you know, for example, imagine if like you walked in and your wife of twenty years was getting fucked by the mailman. Right, you might mm -hmm. pick up a knife and go to fuck and go. You fucking cunt! I'm gonna kill you, fuck! And in that moment, you're ready to do it, and then you take a step back. Anyone looking at that was gonna go, okay, well, obviously killing the guy's wrong, but you can understand why someone is gonna get that enraged and get to the point where they might actually take a serious action. I guess mm -hmm. is my perspective on it. That's the way I think Destiny presents it. Um, I think, like a lot of things, some of his more hardcore fans go a bit far with it and act like there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever and you're an idiot if you disagree. But there is like a reasonable point in between the two that you can come to, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, this is getting far too reasonable. Um, <laughs> is there anything else you think that's worth looking at? Um, do you remember me from the... Uh... From the from the roast stream. Yes, I do. You actually gave quite a good roast. I do remember. Thank you. I was a little nervous. No, that whole stream was, you know, a bit dicey, but I appreciated the effort nonetheless. There were some good memes in there. All right. Well, you well. Thank you. Um, have a good rest of your stream. Thanks. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Cheers. Bye bye. Okay.